Hey everyone. So today I'm going to tell you how to stop peeling nails and I am speaking from personal experience. I used to have a terrible problem with my nails peeling and it seemed like no matter what I did, I could not get rid of that problem. And once they start peeling, big chunks of the surface of your nails start coming off and it just seems like it gets worse and worse and worse over time. It was a nightmare because I love to paint my nails and I want my nails to look nice, obviously. So I'm going to tell you today how I got it to stop and my nails are healthy now and have been healthy for quite some time now because I didn't want to do this video until I was sure that the problem was not going to come back. Um, it's a combination of a few things. It isn't just one thing that cured it. It was several different things and I think all these things combined is what got my nails healthy and kept them that way. So before I get into the products that I use, let me just give you some practical tips of things that will help um, not just stop your nails from peeling but keep your nails healthy in general and also make your manicure last longer which is always a nice bonus too. So first of all if you're going to wash dishes by hand or do any kind of housework that requires your hands to be in water and use some kind of detergent whether it's general household cleaning or um, some type of yard work where you're using insecticides or any time that you are exposing your hands to some type of chemical basically mild or moderate or worse you've got to protect your hands and you know your nails specifically and wear gloves. I know it's a pain in the neck and a lot of people don't like to do it for various reasons but it's the only way that you can be sure that your nails aren't going to be exposed to chemicals and the damage that that will do. Okay so that's that's a biggie. Next off do not use your nails as tools. Um, people do this all the time and they don't even think about it or realize that they're doing it. For example, you're going to eat a piece of fruit. Well, you know how they put those little tiny stickers on the fruit that has like the country of origin and the type of fruit that it is or what the company name is? Well, most people would wash the fruit before they eat it and then just peel the little sticker off with their nails and you know little things like that you don't think it's doing anything to your nails but what's happening is when you use your nails specifically these two to peel off that label you're making a micro tear in the edge of the nail that you can't even see with the naked eye because it's so small that sets you up to your nail being more vulnerable to further injury when you do something else. So don't peel stickers off fruit. Don't peel stickers off anything. When you buy things at the store, they put these safety seals on everything. Do you peel those safety seals off with your nails, with your fingers? Don't do it. <laughs> same thing, same exact scenario. You're creating little tears in your nail that you can't even see. At the very least, you're going to ruin your manicure and your polish is just going to chip off because you did that. So don't do that. Find something else, whether it be a knife or some kind of tool or whatever you have to grab to accomplish what you're trying to do but do not use your fingernails but of course if you use a knife be careful because you don't want to injure yourself in the process either um, what else when you wash your hands every single time you wash your hands you must apply lotion afterwards because when you wash your hands, I mean, you don't want to not wash your hands. Washing your hands is important. It protects you from germs, blah, blah, blah. But after you wash your hands with soap and water, you have to replenish the moisture that you took out by washing your hands. Otherwise, your hands and your fingers and nails are going to be dry 
and then your cuticles, your nails, everything is going to get dry and then it's going to get damaged. So make sure every single time you wash your hands, you apply lotion afterwards. It really does make a big difference, not just in your nails, but in the skin on your hands. It, they're going to look a lot nicer if you do that. So those are the most important things I would say as far as general types of tips for the health of your nails. Now in terms of products, the things that, have, that I've been using for the last mm, two or three months, I would say roughly, I'm, I'm not positive on the time frame, but it's something like that. I've switched the base coat and the top coat that I've been using and now I've had such good results with this, I kind of don't want to use anything else anymore, even though I have other products on the shelf. And what I'm talking about is for a base coat, I've been using the original OPI Nail Envy. Now this is quite expensive, but um, I feel like it's worth it. It's really the best base coat that I've ever used and it's not just a base coat, it's a nail strengthener. So this is going to help do something to protect your nails. It has some type of ingredient in it that is really good for your nails and is the perfect base coat and I use this every single time I do my manicure. At first, when I first started using it, I didn't really see a difference, but you know, the damage that is done to your nails and causes them to peel does not happen overnight. So you can't expect your nails to become healthy overnight either. It's gonna take time. And um, yeah, this stuff is amazing and it's the only thing that I have found that really seems to make a big difference and make them healthy and keep them that way. Now as far as top coats go, I really like the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Anti Chip Top Coat and this is the one in the red bottle. Be careful because they have this exact same product in a clear pro clear bottle but it isn't the same product it isn't the same formula so make sure that if you want to try this you get the one in the red bottle and I love this because it's a fast dry top coat but it doesn't get goopy like some fast dry top coats do this stays a nice thin consistency now I've had this bottle for a long time you can see that it's more than halfway gone but see, it's still got the nice soft texture to it. It doesn't get thick, it doesn't get stringy. You don't have to thin it out. All you have to do is buy a new bottle. And what I do is I just apply that on top and it just dries my nails almost instantly and works really well as a top coat. So cannot recommend this highly enough. Now I know a lot of you are gonna ask me, oh well, what about such and such a base coat, what about such and such top coat that you used to use? These are the things I'm using right now. These are the things that I have found to be the best there is out there. The Sally Hansen Insta Dry is not expensive at all. However, like I said, the OPI Nail Envy is. And when you go to the store, you're gonna see a whole line of OPI Nail Envies. I have not tried any others other than this one this is the one um, the way you can spot this it it says original on the top but it has this old-fashioned type of lettering on it that's in like a forest green and this is the only one that I've used and I was kind of undecided when I first decided to try this product I was like well how do I know which one to use and then I thought back to what I had seen in other people's videos and this was what the bottle looked like so I thought okay I'll try that if that doesn't work maybe I'll try one of the others well I don't need to try any of the others because I really like this um, the only other tip that I can give you that does make a difference is how often you paint your nails I love to paint my nails I love to change the color but you want to keep that to a minimum and I hate to say that because I love to change my polish to other colors, but it's damaging. You know, every time you expose your nails to acetone, that acetone is not going to be doing anything good for your nails. All it's 
going to be doing is removing the old polish. So you want to keep the acetone exposure to a minimum and don't ever use 100% acetone on your nails. Make sure that it's a blend. I have a video on how you can make your own nail polish remover and if you like to paint your nails and you find yourself buying remover often this could be a more affordable way to make or use nail polish remover but um, you can watch that if you want it's called how to make your own nail polish remover but I just um, yeah I make my own and I would never use straight 100% acetone on my nails so that's just a recipe for disaster you just asking for trouble if you do that so yeah change your manicure as seldom as possible and that's going to limit your acetone exposure um, what I do now I used to change my nail polish all the time and I think that really contributed to the problem that I was having with the peeling nails but now what I do is I just I do my nails and either when the nail polish chips or when I have so much nail growth that I can see a white line at the bottom near the cuticle or if I have tip wear where you get that white line right across the edge whichever one of those three things comes first I'll usually paint my nails usually it will be because one of them chipped from doing who knows what but yeah I try to redo them as seldom as possible and that does make a difference so hopefully there was something in this video that will be helpful to you because chipped uh, not chipped peeling nails is awful I, I hated it and I lived with that for the longest time could not figure out how to fix the problem but I feel like I've got a good handle on this now and it's been it's been months and months since my nails have peeled and um, that's it. That's how I take care of my nails and I will see you next time. Bye.